it is time in the build because it's running. It's I got everything in there. I haven't started it yet, but we're waiting on the base map. We're tearing it apart. We're going to start doing the uh, paint prep. Fred found something that sands this very well. Takes care of the uh, clear coat. So metal scraper if you need to start prepping your car. This is the man who told me it. He looks very safe. Whoa. task for the next hour and 13 minutes until I get sidetracked and decide to do something else because I don't have to work on Brandon's car is to work on this quarter panel and the trunk and the bumper and the other quarter panel and that and the door and the other door and um, we'll see how far we get aka probably just this quarter panel. All right, so the first step we did on the quarter was I ran over and kind of mapped out uh, where the dents and the dings are and some of the imperfections. Uh, what I used for that was just this little homemade sanding block. This is actually a piece of uh, flat plexiglass that I had trimmed out at Ace Hardware. And then I shaped the edges a little bit and cut them to size to make little sanding blocks. And they cut way flatter than any of the uh, sanding blocks you'll buy on like Amazon and stuff like that. Anywho, uh, what this is gonna essentially show me, and we used a 220 grid on that, by the way. Uh, what this is essentially going to show me is little areas like this where we got tiny dings and dents on the quarter and then a lot of nonsense going on on the edge right here. This normally gets damaged from people, you know, getting in and out of the car, smacking stuff into the side of the car, or sometimes uh, little defects like this on the edge are actually kind of factory just from them shaping the panels. Uh, anyway, we're still going to correct them. You know, I don't like to leave stuff like that because there's no reason. And all along this wheel arch here, you can see where Brandon was left unattended with a hammer. <laughs> yeah. And uh, now it looks like this. And if I cared more, I would grind this down to metal and fix it all, but I'm gonna put a bunch of body filler over it instead. So next step, we're just gonna kind of grind out the little spots that need some dough. And then we're gonna go around and just uh, give it a quick little skim and block all that stuff smooth. Now remember, you're only looking at the reflection, not anything else. Pretty good. Yeah? I think it's good enough for government work. So now that Fred had got this quarter ready for primer, I'm gonna show you what I was doing on the other side, and then I'm actually gonna walk you through the process on this door. So essentially I was detrimming the door uh, because it's gonna be easier to paint, it's gonna be easier to prep, we don't have to worry about getting, you know, Bondo on the door handle when it has to be on only the door or the mirror or any of that stuff. Um, also, 
because we're doing color change, we need to paint the inside of the door. So I took everything out of the door on the inside. That way, when we're done, it'll just look like a red door. So this is this side. As you can see, I took everything out. There's some clips. I'm gonna take out some of the clips. I also gotta get some new ones because you know, this has having 209,000 miles on it. Some of them broke. Um, but yeah, so door handles out, mirrors out. We got those up here. I'm gonna do that to the other side. Over there, you can see all of the parts that are taken out. Um, so we're gonna make another pile and I'll walk you through how to do it on the other side. When taking apart the door panel, or I guess how far I'm going is detrimming, right? The door panel is pretty easy. It's got two screws and a bunch of clips. Uh, these weather strippings just have little clips that you slide in and off. Um, they have six little pop clips or push clips that go on the sides here. I'm just gonna use a clip popper to pop those off. Uh, the window's coming out. We're gonna take the window regulator out. We're gonna take the door latch out, the door handle, the mirror. Um, and I'm actually gonna be taking out all of the wire harness. So you're gonna see me take off the uh, little foot trim here and the trim up under the, the dash right here. And that's to get to the connector. Um, I'll show you the connector at the end. It is one of those, uh, it's kind of a pole style. It twists and that is how it like opens up to unlock. And once it's all the way back, you can pull the, the wire harness out and then unclip it from the outside of the car. Um, it's relatively simple, uh, but you'll see the overall process of pulling everything out. So let's get started. This is the door clip. This gives it all of the wiring that goes through. So you can actually get a little prior. I used the, the clip popper tool behind it to pry it out. Um, I did it from the other side, but uh, you can do it without breaking the tabs. Um, even if you do break one or whatever, there's like four or five on this for that. So once you're here, the door can close and then all you do is you wiggle it out. Now that it's out, you can pry this piece. Let me get a little pry tool. So this will pop up. And once it pops up, come on, there we go. You can unplug it. And now that goes back in there. The door is unplugged from the rest of the, uh, the car. And now when we take off that big black panel that's in there with the speaker, everything will come out perfectly fine. No issues. The only thing is there's some more little clips under here, under the rubber. Um, those are the other things too. You just pry them gently and you can save most of the clips with that. So no worries. Yeah, we might've broken one, but ain't the end of the world. It'll stick. Both doors are now fully detrimmed. Uh, they're gonna stay on the car though, because Fred's going to, well, he would like to, and I know I'm going to be helping with this too, so I would like to sand this affixed to something and not on a stand and just wobbling about. trying to get it in primer today. Fred's got the passenger side ready. We've got the trunk ready, most of the driver's side ready. We still gotta work on the fender. I'm doing the metal work on, couple seals, take the rear bumper off, and so on for primer. Driver 
fender is now in 220, which means it can be primered like the rest of the car. So I think I'm gonna take it off because we're done with it right now. Um, I'm gonna start sanding the rest of the car. Uh, essentially that's going to be a like long block 220 and then feathered out in 500. It's finally time. The car's in the paint booth. We have everything set up, everything is scuffed. We were just going to do the jams and then do the outside later, but Fred decided that we don't have to do it that way and we should be fine just painting everything the way it is. So the fenders, the doors and the hood and the quarters are all going to get paint. So everything will be done and then I can start putting the essentially the middle part of the car because the bumpers and like little stuff like the mirrors and the front crash bar, all that stuff still needs to get shot. Um, we don't have enough room in here. As you can see, it's a little tight already. The doors are all prepped and ready for the jams, the insides to be done, the hinges to be done. And yeah, we're going to see some color on it today. You can see that the booth is packed with car parts and it's virtually impossible for me to be in there with Fred while he's trying to spray all those panels. So what I do have is a series of shots of all the pieces coming out of the booth prior to reassembly. to start reassembly and unlike other videos we've done on painting cars I'm actually going to show you most or walk you through some of the process of reassembling all of this well the easy one's done just got some finger smudges but I'm gonna put the hinges on here probably don't need to see that just bolt on and the, the rubber piece that goes around here I gotta clean that up because it's looks like the rest of that and then we'll move on to the doors those ones will be fun The fender's still a little loose because we gotta make sure we don't hit the hood, but it's on. At least the bodywork that was done looks perfect. I got the doors on, the fenders on, the hood. Uh, we got most of the stuff inside the doors because I still have to, you know, I gotta put the door handles and the mirrors on. Uh, so that, that'll come soon, but at least the doors latch now and everything. Uh, the hood latches, everything seems to line up really well. Uh, we still have bumpers, front and rear, mirrors and handles, like I said. The trunk needs to be shot. Uh, the side skirts need to be shot. I gotta put the soft top back together so that that will go up. Fender braces and the front crash bar will also be color matched. That way my illusion of this car not being silver will be complete. It took me probably three months to pick a color and I love this one. Granted there is a dark red or whatever NC Miata that they made, but this color is so much better than that color. It's hard to see on camera, but you can get the nice flakes in there. This color is definitely 
the best choice I could have made for it. Until next time.